By this time tomorrow, much of the Bay Area could be in the dark if pg and &E goes through with another massive public safety power shutoff as planned. We just got new information about the timing here. The North Bay could be hit by 5 p.m. tomorrow and other parts of the Bay Area by 7. More than 2 million people in pg and &E's service area could be affected. It's because of powerful winds in the forecast combined with those hot, dry conditions. Now, the potential outages include almost 200,000 customers in Napa, Sonoma, and Marin counties, 64,000 in San Mateo County. County and 57,000 in Alameda County, as well as 48,000 in Contra Costa and 27,000 in Santa Clara. I'm Mark Sayer, live in the East San Jose foothills. The lights are on here for now, but this is expected to be one of the hardest hit areas as the region prepares for yet another massive power blackout. There are few places where power lines intersect with dry brown brush more than the East San Jose foothills. Here, residents live with the threat of fire year-round, but blackouts are a new twist. Well, uh, last time we had the power outage around 6 a.m., and we were expecting that, so I had the flashlight. And Alan Salihi is prepared for fires and for the blackouts. As an alarm technician, he has a solar and battery backup system installed in his backyard, and it will power many of the key systems in his home if PG&E cuts service this weekend. And then when the power outage happens, my inverter inverts that to the 110 volt that right. I can run my modem and uh, router and the computer. Salihi's home is right on the hillside and he has already cut back the brush just in case anything is ignited behind him. So as I said, we would be rather to be safe than sorry. Down the hill near Alum Rock Park, a power line failure recently sparked a small fire. Here, residents are willing to put up with the power outages in the name of safety. It's good, so there's no fires around this area. Yeah. Managers at several local hardware stores say the run on generators remains strong, with some stores selling out and receiving emergency replenishment shipments. Stephen Codilli is an electrician and says his company has been getting calls about generators. If it stops any fires from happening, prevents any more buildings from being burnt down or anyone being displaced, I think is well worth it. Back up the hill, Ryu Salihi says he appreciates all of his dad's backup power. Because, you know, I have my phone charged and everything, and that's all we really care about, us millennials nowadays. Now tonight, the city of San Jose has announced that it plans to open four community centers in the hardest hit areas. Also, the blackout is not expected to hit the actual downtown area. On the Nightbeat in East San Jose, I'm Mark Sayer.